Uh, at what point did you kind of come to the realization that you had to make the decision you just made? I, I guess, Jim, I, I just felt like that it was time for me um, to step down, knowing that Holly was going to be in great hands. She, uh, she's a great coach, and, you know, I'm going to continue to support her. But, um, you know, it's never a good time. But you have to find the time that you think is the right time, and that, that is now. Let's go over here to Chris. Hey, Pat. Chris Button, WBIR. I know that you probably can't really describe the conversations, but can you describe the moment when you told the team and when you told Holly and maybe your advice to her? Well, obviously, I want the team. I wanted the team to know I'm, I'm still going to be here. I'm going to be in practice. I'm going to be yelling at them still, you know. They may not like that, but it makes me feel good. Um, but, uh, you know, I just, I just felt like um, that Holly had earned this opportunity, and I'm still going to be there for her and support her in every way, um, just like I, I want to be with this team and continue to be there uh, for them. Go to George. Coach, I'm at George Smith from ESPN. How are you? Hi, George. Uh, I'm curious. You're, you're not going to be the head coach, but you'll still have an active role uh, in the department and with the program. Uh, I guess how much do you hope to inspire others who've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's to continue to work and do the work they love as long as they can? Well, I think uh, with the Alzheimer's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's very passionate because of my diagnosis. And uh, I never thought I would be diagnosed as I was, but, um, you know, I want to continue um, to, to be involved. And, you know, I, uh, I'm passionate about it. And, you know, hopefully we can, uh, you know, have a, have a good fight. And uh, that's exactly what I want to do, uh, to bring awareness to the Alzheimer's uh, Foundation. Over here. Let's go over here to Rick. Hey, Pat Summit, Rick Russo here from WVLT Local 8. Over here. Hey, hey Pat. Got you. Hey, all right. Over the years, you've always talked about core values and preparing these young ladies for life after basketball. Can you talk about that and what that's meant to you? And also, I understand today you received an honor from the president, the uh, Medal of Freedom honor, the highest for a civilian. Can you talk about that as well? Well, obviously, uh, I didn't see it coming, but it's a tremendous honor, and I appreciate that very much. Um, as, as far as our, uh, our student athletes, um, you know, they go to class, they do the right things um, on the court, you know, they, they lay it on the line. Um, they're they're going to keep uh, winning games, and I'm going to be there to see it. And, you know, it's just, uh, I, I just can't tell you how the good Lord has, has blessed me in so many ways. And uh, I, just, uh, I just thank them, and I thank all of you that are here today. Um, that have that have touched my life in, in so many ways and made Tyler grow up and um, I'm, I'm proud of him and so it's um, you know it, it is what it is and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep working and and uh, trying to help them do the best that they can do. Let's go over here. Pat Dan Flesser from the Knoxville New Sentinel. In your new role, what's going to be your top priority? What's going to be my top priority? Um, to, to come to work every day, um, to be around the student athletes. Maybe they'll keep me young. I'm not, you know, I'm getting ready to turn the big one. But uh, I can still, yeah, 30. Hardly. But, uh, you know, being around young people is, uh, you know, it, it's a breath of fresh air every day. And uh, having such a great group and our managers, everybody, um, they're invested. And so they're, they're going to still see me and uh, I'm still going to yell at them. But, uh, you know, I, I, I love these young people and hopefully they'll keep me young. Who's next? Buddy? I'll take one over there. 
Coach Steve Phillips from uh, WBIR, hey, and Steve. actually uh, this for Tyler too. Just you talk about the the timing of everything coming. Uh, you mentioned it in your remarks, uh, Coach, uh, that as you make this decision and announce it, that uh, that Tyler gets his first uh, opportunity to be a coach, and the and and Tyler for you, how how difficult was that with all that's going on? Yeah. You. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to say this was her decision. Um, and I, I think that she took time after the season, uh, thought about everything. And the thing that my mom's always taught me is to, to put the team before yourself. And she really felt like this was the best thing for the, the Lady Vols program. And she's still going to be in a mentoring role. And that's a role that not many people have seen. You know, I've seen it, the players have seen it, it's behind the scenes. We all see her on the sidelines ripping into a referee or screaming at her players, right? That's what she's known for. But she will still have the role of mentor and role model and mom to her players, and, and I'm very happy for her. As far as Marquette goes, I'm, I'm excited to start. Um, maybe she's got a few pointers for me, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if I have any pointers for him. <laughs> he studies a game all the time, and I, I'm proud of him and wish him the best. Over here to Sally. Sally Jenkins of the Washington Post. Tyler, I understand you won, uh, uh, you coached a, a AAU team to a victory in an interesting fashion last week, and I was wondering if you could tell that story and talk about your mom's reaction. <laughs> um, yes, okay, so I was coaching my AAU team. Um, <laughs> Uh, we actually only had five players, so uh, a lot of them were taking the ACT. I coached 17 and under girls. They were taking uh, the ACT academics first, right, Mom? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> couldn't make the tournament, uh, so I had five. One of them was actually late, and um, it's my policy. If you're late, you're not going to start. You might not even play. So we started the game with four people, uh, with four players. Uh, the refs and the other coach and everybody in the stands was looking at me like I was crazy but um, you know something my mom always instilled in me is that discipline comes first and uh, you set the standards and you keep them there and uh, trust me she'll still be keeping those standards here at Tennessee.